I grew up in a sugarcane estate in Swaziland, um, where my dad worked, um, and I sort of grew this interest to become an agronomist. So out of that, I sort of learned, you know, the scientific issues, you know, natural sciences, and I got very interested in that. But I, over the years, got more interested in a space where science interfaces with, um, e you know, economy and society. My relationship with UCT started a couple of years ago. Um, I was working with a number of researchers from the University of Cape Town. Um, and I think over the years I got interested in what they were doing. Um, and I think I had some interest further to enroll with the university. So my research is about water resources policy management in South Africa. And water depends on many variables like climate variability, which means it's deeply uncertain. We don't know if it's going to rain and when is it going to rain. But over and above that, we, we are in a space where there's poverty. We are in a space where there's inequality. We are in a space where there is um, unemployment. How do I bring in all of these complexities to better understand the system, to inform better planning, to inform adaptive management, in other words, flexibility in the policy management system, but also to inform evaluation. How do we measure if we are doing it correctly or not? I met Sandile a few years ago when he was working at the Agricultural Research Council central office and we had combined projects where I was uh, contributing together with him and the team. Sandili really has made a, an impact in science looking at water because he looks at it from a systematic point of view. So he takes all the different systems and puts them together and takes contributions from each system. The one thing that excites me about what we do and what I contribute in that whole picture is seeing impact. In this country, there's a lot of billions of rents that have been spent on agricultural development. If we see a smile and we see success and we see growth, we see self-reliance in our sector, we would have achieved a lot. And I think for me, you know, you know, that represents the kind of impact we want to see. Sandili is an inspirational graduate because when you're working with him, he doesn't forget about the people. So he he really engages with the people and he respects everybody and that makes it easier for us to work together. For me, I'd like to be a leader in this sector. I'd like to champion a lot of new ideas, innovation. Um, but I can't say, you know, this is where it will end up. You know, I, I want to be able to you know, take the opportunities and the lessons and grow from there. My advice to future UCT graduates is to say that um, be clear in, in your mind, you know, around what you want to do. You know, I think the, the more clarity you have, the more clarity of the vision you have, and the more you can get everybody involved in your study on the same page, the better the chances that you will make it quicker. You know, when, when I got clarity about what I needed to do, I still had the energy to do the PhD and fortunately I used that time effectively to finish it off.